Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello, brothers and sisters. Monday evening. I'm sure you're just wrapping up work, but I'm also sure you're very excited after a hectic day to uh, join us and uh, listen to some very inspiring stories. That's right. Today is day three of Off the Record. Uh, we're sure that you're going to love this one as well. All right. We have one viewer. Good evening. And uh, if you're joining us now for the first time, I uh, would suggest that uh, uh, you guys share this link to all your friends as well in your friends list, so they can also join and uh, and uh, experience, uh, witness some wonderful stories that we have here today. Hello, hello, Jimmy. Good evening. Who else do we have so far? We'll just give it a couple of more minutes before we can begin. How is everyone's Monday been so far? While we're waiting, you know, why don't we just, <laughs> I know it's Monday, it's the start of the week, Monday blues, everyone's generally tired. So how was your Monday so far, brothers and sisters? Let us know in the chat uh, while we wait for the others to join and begin our how session. How was your Monday, Baba? Um, I actually was on holiday today, so I had a pretty, I had a pretty relaxed Monday. How was your go? My day was actually very busy and, uh, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this day, how today's testimony goes. I'm looking forward. And I hope all of you, also brothers and sisters, uh, are excited to hear uh, today's uh, testimony. Greg, tell us how your Monday was. Yes, Greg, brother, how was your how was your Monday? Vinita, how was your Monday? Jimmy had an awesome Monday. Awesome Monday. So good to hear. No Monday blues. Did anyone suffer Monday blues? We'll just give it a couple of more minutes. Don't forget to invite your friends, brothers and sisters, once again, just reminding all of you, don't forget to invite your friends list, uh, people in your community. All right, Greg had a hectic Monday, but is excited to tune into the session. Praise God. Busy, busy day. We need to have a very busy day. Okay. Well, I'm sure, you know, today's testimony is going to really lighten your hearts and uh, whether you had a good day or a bad day this day, this testimony is going to definitely uh, bring a smile on your face. All right. Brothers and sisters, why don't you uh, go ahead in the chat, you know, send us some emote icons. Uh, let's get this chat going. Just to give you a recap of uh, the couple of sessions that we've had so far, uh, we are doing an off the record show for all those of you who are new. Uh, and uh, to tell you a little bit about this uh, show and this event that we are having, uh, it's a talk show uh, conducted by the Missionary Families of Christ Bangalore. Uh, and uh, it's a very simple talk show. We invite um, couples uh, who've been married for some time, we invite them onto um, our session and we have a conversation with them about how their lives are and how God has been able to uh, transform their lives. So um, on day one we had uh, on day one we had Ronaldo I don't know if you guys uh, remember on day one we had Ronaldo uh, Raina and Aldo rather who uh, talked about their financial struggles uh, the issues that uh, had they had with financial struggles and uh, the subsequent reconciliation that uh, came forth, you know, uh, through their life in Christ. And on day two, that was yesterday, we had uh, the veteran Raju and Santoshi married for 14 years with two beautiful daughters. Uh, we had uh, them come on our show and they talked to us about uh, uh, their marital struggles, uh, struggles that we all tend to face, you know, and uh, we all tend to face when these issues that we tend to face when we don't build our marriages on Jesus. And uh, 
we had their inspiring story. They talked to us about how they build their lives on Jesus and they subsequently build their marriage on Jesus. And uh, the beauty of it is that, you know, 14 years later, they're still together going strong uh, and serving the Lord in their own ways. So, and today also we have a very exciting young couple to share their life with us. So I hope all of you are very excited. Uh, we are excited. Uh, so yeah, we'll just give it one more minute. Uh, and I hope uh, all of you, I'm going to repeat once again, I hope you guys can uh, invite your friends so that uh, they can also witness and experience the way the Lord has been working in the lives of all our couples in missionary families of Christ. All right. Just a reminder, once again, brothers and sisters, please do share the link to this live to your friends. Uh, in case you see them online, just ping them immediately on the Facebook uh, chat. Ask them to join us in. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So with that, I think, uh, shall we get started? Yes. Shall what we? do we have today? Ah, today, like I said, we have a very young, exciting couple. Uh, we have, and if you have seen the poster, uh, Nelson and Tina are joining us today for, and they're going to share their lives with us. Uh, for those of you who are new and don't know who Nelson and Tina is, uh, we'll let them introduce themselves. Okay. But uh, just to say something about them, they're a very cute couple. Uh, love marriage. Uh, this is not a two-stage story. But this time we brought it a little closer. It's a two city story. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, to tell you a little bit about Nelson, Nelson is a foodie. He loves his food. Uh, but the best thing about Nelson is also that he also loves to cook. So I guess he is someone who uh, makes his cake and has it as well. Um, to talk about our wonderful Tina, she's a wonderful trained dancer. Uh, and uh, theirs is a wonderful, beautiful love marriage. And they are blessed with a beautiful daughter, Milani. So we hope to see her too. Hopefully we get to see her as well. Yes. And we all get to see that cuteness. Let's try and see if we can invite them. Yeah. All right. Let's add them and brothers and sisters. Maybe you can do the clap icon on your, uh, on your chat. Uh, let's give it a second. I think Nelson is yet to uh, join the live, so uh, maybe he's facing some technical issue or something. But hopefully he'll be with us shortly. But keep those claps coming. Maybe maybe you know add your applause, uh, Nelson and Tina. Oh, oh, there they are. There you go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey guys. Hi guys. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you both doing? How is Kerala treating Amazing. you? We're doing great and we're really happy to see you. Same nice here. Nice smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Praise God. Praise God, Nelson and Tina. So, For those of them who have uh, probably just joined us and probably did not uh, see your poster, uh, why don't you just give a very brief introduction? We did try introducing yourself, but why don't you just say something more about yourself? Sure. Um, okay. So uh, me and Tina, we mm -hmm. have been married for seven years. Uh, however, we've known each other for almost seven plus okay. ten, almost seventeen years now. So wow. uh, yeah, we kind of met uh, during college, and uh, uh, yeah, we've had a beautiful uh, together. Uh, how do I put it together? I mean, we've had a beautiful exciting time of life we actually fell into each other we came across each other yeah and yeah right now like you said we are blessed with a little cute daughter milani she is about uh, one year five month old and uh, unfortunately you said uh, maybe you can see her but no she is uh, she just went to sleep so we couldn't just bring her on the camera sorry about that no worries, no worries, brother. No worries. We, we saw, I think we saw her on the on the poster, though. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so uh, we'll fill our hearts with uh, with that with that picture of her. Wait, on the poster. Can you, could you give us just one second? I'm trying to avoid some sound. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. I think it's all good from our side, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. We are also good now. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. All right. So Nelson and Tina, 
everyone is very eager to hear what is your off the record story so over to you guys what is what do you have to share with us today okay um i wanted to actually share this part of my life so if, uh, even in the community i don't think they've actually spoken about this to many um one thing that i wanted to speak about is like my childhood you know and uh, i grew up um, you know um, in the hostels right from the age of ukg and uh, you know i had this big gap between me and my father i could never understand him uh, with his love a very strict personality to say uh, when i say strict personality really strict you know and in fact family members in my uh, in in my mom's side you know they have this uh, nickname they sometimes call him a hitler you know so he's like that strict and uh, what happened to me was you know uh, right at the age when i was in ukg about 4 years 5 years old he took me and he left me in the hostels and uh, when he did they never told me that they were going to put me in the hostel again okay? and it made a big impact in my life because i i was brought up so strictly and i still remember i was put in that hostel they just left me and i felt so abandoned so right at that moment there was this big hurt that uh, you know uh, that i i i had faced and uh, that night this uh, nun you know she was um, she was the mother of the convent she was just sitting with all the kids she put some food on my plate and she said no sir it's okay you eat and i was still crying all the more because i said i don't know how to eat and she said why just eat it's there right in front of you and i said no i cannot eat with a spoon it's out a spoon and a fork you know so that is how strict my dad had brought me up i did not know i could use my hands to eat food uh, you know and also to give you some situations like you know uh when it comes to uh, i i love cricket okay i love cricket and, my, and I, we were a well to do family dad those days you know he used to buy this oil cricket bat if you know what that means and uh, you know it was like quite expensive and you had to soak it in oil do a lot of stuff and i used to love my cricket but you know my father you no know, he could never understand during the holidays when i spent more time on the ground and you know with friends in those days you can easily relate to those 80s where you did not have video games even just coming up so we were like yeah. on the ground and uh, you know he literally took the bat and he said no you, this is your age you need to study you know so that was the way he would look at it and he burned that bat in front of me and same with the video game so he literally took it and crushed it at one point of time whenever he felt i was like kind of playing with that over uh, or to give you a simple example my father could never connect with me i think you know Uh, mm-hmm. i still remember i was living in a hill station and uh, what he did was like you know one fine day he took my bicycle and gave it to my friend's son okay that guy was my age and i was like so hurt to see that because i could see him i loved that cycle a lot not making it an idol but i loved that you know as a kid you can imagine seven day you know and you love your bicycle and i you took good care of it now suddenly it is with your friend's son and you can't even say that's yours and you know all that happened because one person went and told my dad and i was riding the terrace on uh, cycle on their terrace you know he did not even come back to ask me whether it was true no and it was absolutely not the right thing no it wasn't me so all these things you know made me really get very far from my dad i had a lot of pain lot of hurt and i could only see him as a uh, you know a very strict character not somebody who really, really loved me you know so i wanted to bring actually this part of my life here i think i think that's very interesting uh, nelson i mean this yeah. is the first time we are having a, a story uh, a that, life that goes back traces back to the childhood yeah you know i mean um, i think everyone over here would probably been expecting you know what is the gossip in their marriage <laughs> you know but uh, here we are talking about childhood issues so this is very interesting so interesting so so uh, you know nelson if i may so how how did it impact you like does it does it affect you does it affect you guys like uh, what was the impact friend and i i hope you will agree with me on this see uh, yeah it is my childhood but that is me you know it ultimately followed me all the way you know it followed me to the very uh, point of my marriage and even post that you know until a time that we came to the realization oh this is following i'll, I'll tell you what happened okay due to this kind of my relationship with my father i started becoming a person who is like first i could never forgive him for many things which i did not even realize back then that i have unforgiveness towards him you know i did not even come to that realization all that i knew is like you know he is a strict guy 
you know, and that's what was running in my mind. But actually, there was so much of hurt in me, so much of unforgiveness in me. And what all this together did was it made me to be to grow into a person who was very short-tempered. You know, somebody who could never trust anyone, very short-tempered, arrogant, and uh, you know, this kind of kept following. It even followed so much right up to the point in my marriage also. You know, along with Tina. So uh, I think Tina could also kind of pitch in here to say what it actually did. Yeah, I was about I was about to say that we've heard Nelson's side of the story. Now let's hear from Tina. Tina, what is your side of the story here? How did it impact you? Okay. Uh, before that, I want to just uh, give a short introduction about myself. Like, you know, I'm I'm not a, a cradle Catholic. Uh, I I, I uh, fell in love with uh, uh, Nelson. We met in the college, as he already said, and. Um, then uh, then I, I chose to follow Christ and after that like um, uh, before marriage actually then after, after marriage I mean even though we, we uh, ours was I think before marriage uh, it was 10 years of courtship and um, uh, what, what used to happen was like um, though we loved each other and all like I many a times I used to feel that Nelson uh, can be better you know in conveying things because he's always he he's uh, you know he used to just um, tell me things strictly do this do that and uh, you know it's it, i used to never feel like yeah. okay, uh, we are lovers you know uh, so uh, that that used to be the thing and uh, i used to never understand also why he used to be like that and uh, then yes uh, yeah then then uh, what happened was like after uh, we attended the CLS and uh, um, uh, okay. Uh, before that, I want to even t- uh, tell you this. Like, you know, after marriage, also, I think it was like almost one one and a half year uh, uh, before we uh, 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 attend CLS. Um, even though, uh, like, you know, there was there, there was a lot of hurt hurts that he used to cause me and all. You know, I used to not like the way he used to treat me and all those things, but. <laughs> Uh, for me, he was the only person, like, you know, I, I never had any friends. Now, I could share anything under the sky, you know, I can say, I can I can talk to him. I used to never even uh, share things with my uh, mother or sister, but I could share such things with him. And uh, that kind of a relationship I, we had. Uh, but on the other side, it used to be, all, like, you know, most of the time, it used to be, like, um, fights and uh, arguments, because I could... I never uh, take it when he used to tell things. Like, you know, I used to feel that he's always like, you know, uh, over, you know, he wants to show that power on me, uh, you know, things like that. Um, uh, but I think during the CLS, I, uh, uh, I felt like, you know, uh, I experienced God's love. And uh, also, uh, uh, with that, I also uh, realized one thing that I had given Nelson the utmost priority in my life. I had never given God the priority. So he was everything for me. So even I think God was, uh, you know, uh, not in that first, uh, you know, place in my life. And uh, during the CLS is where I realized, uh, one thing I realized God's love and how much God loves me. Um, um, And also I I, I was able to uh, prioritize uh, my relationship uh, with Nelson, with God, in the in the right way, I should say. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Very intriguing. Very intriguing. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. So, so uh, if I may come back, right? So, um, just to just to do a quick recap. So, um, I think the hurt from your childhood manifested into your marriage, and at the same time, uh, Tina was head over heels for our hero, that is Nelson. And uh, she made him his utmost priority, right? Uh, more than God, which is, very, which is very interesting. Which is very interesting. So, uh, Nelson, if, if we may ask, like, what was your uh, CLS uh, experience? Okay, so um, I'm, I'm just cutting it short, okay? Uh, what Tina says is absolutely right. Because I was like, probably, uh, even without my own knowledge, I was treating Tina the same way. How I was being treated by my dad, you know? I did not kind of really understand. But... Then we were invited for the CLS, you know, and I remember um, when when I said yes, and 
he came and we attended the CL. I I have been okay before I say about our CL. Let me say this. I've been a part of uh, other uh, communities, Catholic communities, spiritual groups, and I have definitely heard uh, how much as to God loves me and God is my Father. Yes, I have heard that. I've heard. How Jesus came in support for me, how much God showed his love through Christ for me, and how he has redeemed me, how he has saved me. So I have definitely heard this part of the story, like many others, many, many others. Okay. But something God had in plan and in store for me right here, and that was um, you know, there, there was this small handout. It was called God's Love Letter. Okay, and it was basically nothing but uh, the scripture verses which speaks about God's love for us. So it was actually formulated into a letter, a very beautiful fashion way, and it was handed over to us. And that letter made the world of difference. I mean, that really impacted me because it spoke about the father's love. You know, something in all my 30 years of my life, you know, 30 odd years of my life, I've not really thought about. It. But that was the area that made the biggest impact in my life, which is even following into my marriage, into our relationship. And I'm talking about a relationship where we love each other. We kind of had, we were in a coaching for 10 years. And after that, it's still making a big impact in our life. And it hit me, you know, it literally hit me. It swooped me off my feet. And when I read that letter, and I, I was like, okay, this is how the father actually loves me. I've heard of the father's love before. But here it made a world of a difference. That, that is where the spirit of God started revealing, no, I really love you like this. This is the heart of the father. Uh, in fact, now with Milani, I'm able to relate even much better as to what the heart of the father is, okay? And awesome. during, after that letter in the CLS, I must say the CLS, the complete, the dimension of the CLS for me changed, you know? And I started really attending the CLS, trying to set the basics right, understanding. And that is when I started understanding where my father comes from. Okay, and then it was just after that me and Tina were just taking a drive and the spirit of God beautifully kind of had put it like a conversation between us and I started realizing my father was the only child of uh, my grandmother and my grandfather had remarried after that. So he was, uh, you know, he was brought up, my, probably my grandfather realized that my dad was being ill-treated or whatever mistreated. Not literally, but yeah, to a certain extent. And then he put him, those days were still under British rule. So there was an Italian priest, all right? So my father was uh, under the care of this Italian priest. And they were also a well-to-do family. So my father grew up there without the family, without the love of the family, having lost his mother at a very tender age, probably at an age that he doesn't even remember. And he hardly recollects the face of his father. And God started revealing all this to me, you know, all that hurt, you know, everything that was a grudge and whatever was there towards my father, literally, I should say, God changed it into love and compassion. You know, I could love him back. And it, it did take me time, okay? It did take me time to get back, sit to him and say, uh, Dad, I love you, you know, to tell him sorry for the times that I have hurt him. It did take me time. But the CLS, you know, and this love letter of God that came, was simply God's beautiful plan to set things so beautifully right, which was not right for all those years. So praise be to God. No, I don't have praise, words. Praise be to God. 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 Truly, truly, truly. I, I must say, you know, I think uh, uh, this story is very unique and God is uh, truly faithful and he works wonders in mysterious, mysterious ways, you know. Uh, just just, just to see, right, like the, the issues that you had with your father, uh, God resolved that in a just before, you know just at the time when you know you are about to start your family right so that you can truly <laughs> reflect the love of God into your family um, with your spouse and with your with your daughter and also what's very beautiful about this testimony is how God works uh, through your spouse as well you know uh, uh, like like you said you know uh, it it came through it came through Tina in the conversation right and you started the healing process and but I think the what what really uh, what really blew me away, honestly, was, you know, the love of the father that, you know, uh, there can be so many issues that we're struggling with, you know, Nelson may have had a, a childhood trauma, some of us may be having issues with our jobs, with our pa parents, families, children, uh, and we're looking for something, we're looking for this uh, peace, we're looking for joy, hope, love, 
uh, all of which is actually found in God. And you know, mm-hmm. brothers and sisters, um, all of you who are new and watching this uh, show, you must be wondering, you know, what is this CLS where uh, Nelson and Tina got this healing? You know, I want it too. I want Jesus. Uh, just, just to give you all a, a little brief, CLS is a, a Christian life seminar, brothers and sisters, uh, uh, conducted by the Missionary Families of Christ. And uh, your good fortune and all of our good fortune and praise be to God that he has given us this opportunity to conduct yet another Christian life seminar starting August 22nd. It's a six week uh, CLS brothers and sisters, the details of uh, the CLS can be found on our MSC Bangalore Facebook page and also the registration and contact details can be found in the chat here below. Uh, so I urge all of you brothers and sisters to uh, you know, say yes to the Lord, have that wonderful encounter with him and be transformed just like uh, Nelson and Tina have been. All right. So uh, Nelson and Tina, you've had a renewed experience with Christ after you've uh, known God the Father. Uh, what would you like to tell our audience who uh, might be interested in joining this CLS uh, that we have in the coming weekend? What should they expect okay. out of the CLS? Okay. Uh, what I would say is this. Uh, see, Word of God clearly says that God had a plan for us even before we made the foundations of the world, right? And it was so true in my life. You know, Things that I did not even realize, like what I've been sharing all this while. Areas that I did not realize are making or impacting my family life when I began after, you know, after a marriage or even in a court, 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 courtship time, you know. So uh, God is so caring, so loving. He definitely has a beautiful plan for each one of us, no matter what. He just loves us. And uh, just like how he brought me to the CLS, you know, and had to take me through that simple handout and touch my life, help me all the way around. Today, you know, uh, me, I, I just wait for my dad to say goodnight. And he's, he's very old, okay? So that, even that little goodnight in the night really matters between us. We just wait to say that to each other. And even him, you know, he'll search for me and he'll see where I am, come and say that goodnight. And to everyone who are watching, you know, I just want to say this. See, I am a guy who came from who came from uh, other spiritual communities and I knew I have attended retreats, I've been to divine, all those things. But, you know, when there is a call from God, my point is this, no matter what our circumstances are, no matter where you come from, no matter what you're going through, no matter what sin we are struggling through, whatever it be, you know, my uh, takeoff from this uh, experience is uh, you know, I would just simply say, go, get back to God, say yes. Sit back and wait and see how beautifully God can unfold our lives and, you know, pour down his blessings into our lives. All that I would say is just don't hesitate to say that yes. And I'm sure God has a wonderful thing for all of us. Praise God. Praise God, Nelson and Tina. Uh, like, like they said, uh, brothers and sisters, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else shall be added unto you. Thank you so much, Nelson and Tina, for joining us and sharing your wonderful testimony. Brothers and sisters who are watching us, don't forget to uh, register for the CLS. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You don't want to miss out on God. And uh, join us tomorrow for yet another inspiring time of uh, testimonies by our next couple. Uh, This is Brandon Brandon Danya Danya signing signing off. off. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. God bless you all. Good night, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, Nelson. Bye, Gina.